Hey y'all, I had to drop this video and shout out to Targeted Justice, you know, for the shout out. I really do appreciate that, you know, because as I was recording that video, I didn't even think it would really even get any views, you know. But for the fact that they posted this video, you know, the update of the Targeted Justice lawsuit on the website, TargetedJustice.com, I really appreciate that because, I mean, I've been following that website since like 2020. And even the song Gang Stalking that I dropped, you know, at the very end of Gang Stalking, I said targetedjustice.com, you know, to bring awareness to the website so more people can get information. Because I've learned a lot from Targeted Justice. So shout out to Richard, you know, and shout out to the lawyer for Targeted Justice within this lawsuit. You know, shout out to Anna because... You know, it, it, it takes a really strong person to stand up and fight for targeted individuals like she's doing. You know, it really you really got to be of God to do something like that. And she's a very wonderful person. So shout out to the whole team. You know, I'm not affiliated with targeted justice, but I respect what they they do. You know, I really respect how they advocate and educate uh, people concerning targeted individuals and what we're going through and the information that they put out there for the world to know exactly what's going on. So yeah, shout out to them. I had to make this video, you know, because uh, as I was making that video about the update, I was really just, you know, sitting in my car, looking at the case, talking to myself, thinking like, damn, they're asking for another extension. Like what the fuck is going on? You know? So as I'm reading through the case and stuff, I'm just talking to myself and I said, well, Hey, let me go ahead and record the things that I'm saying, you know, because this is really how I feel and I'm really passionate about this, you know. So everything that I was saying in that video, I was saying it to myself and I just said, well, hey, why not record it? You know, so uh, excuse me for all of the cussing, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, like I said, I really didn't think the video would even get any views, you know, but uh, I, I'm just passionate about it, you know, and I also took a public speaking course you know, in college, and sometimes, hey, you got to add them sentence enhancers, you know, for a powerful speech, so people can really feel where you're coming from, you know, but I didn't mean any disrespect or to, or, or mean to offend anyone, you know, with the words that I was saying, but I meant everything that I said as far as, you know, the Department of Justice, you know, pretty much lollygagging with this case and gaslighting, you know, because they gaslight us out here on the street, so, you know, they're gaslighting in court, calling these uh, fantastical allegations and conspiracy theories, these counts that the, the targeted justice lawyer is bringing about in court, you know, and that's just ridiculous. It just lets you know how messed up society is because they're going to take that stance and they're going to take that stance to the end. They're going to, they're not, they're not going to just come out and admit and say, Hey, we wrong. We're wrong. We made a mistake. We we're doing wrong. We need to stop. Let's, let's put an end to this. No, they, they have to be called on their shit. You know, and the only way this can happen is if the court, you know, orders this. Now, the judge ordered the FBI to give their response to the motion to compel limited discovery for May 1st. The FBI didn't even give their response. They're just waiting for the judge to basically make a decision to say what should happen. That shows you what we're dealing with and who we're dealing with. Yeah, their response was due May 1st. They never responded. They just shut it the fuck up. And it's just ridiculous, man, you know, but hey, that's the times that we're living in, you know, but it, also the scripture says that everything that's done in the dark, it shall be brought to light. And that's exactly what's going on right now. Things that has been hidden from the public. Now we're all able to start waking up and seeing it. And uh, I'll just pray that more Americans can wake up and see because there's so much going on in the background and so many people are asleep to what's really going on. And these things need to be discussed. Just like what's his name? Tucker Car Carlson, who just recently got fired from Fox. He's saying, you know, basically the news does not report on any real issues, any real topic. They don't have any real debates, you know, and you get fired when you talk about real things from the news. That's how, you know, all of them are bought and paid for. That's why you don't hear the targeted justice lawsuit in the mainstream news media. You got to go to underground news outlets to hear this. And this is something that should be on the forefront of every mainstream news. You know, when Queen Elizabeth died, who's not even in fucking America, that was on my news feed and everywhere that I went online, it was everywhere for at least two days or, or maybe even a week everywhere. 
this should be everywhere and it lets you know where America stands and it lets you know where this country stands right now and how they don't want the truth to get out. And that's why the truth will get out. So God be with us all, you know, all targeted individuals. God be with all of the plaintiffs in this case. And God especially be with the uh, lawyer for this case, you know, because this is really a tough job. I'm sure it's time consuming to come up with all of these facts and to gather all of these documents that they said, that the defendant said, that the Department of Justice said, that the FBI said. That the Department of Homeland Security said, you know, these are things that they said, so they can't refute what they said. These are documents that they published, you know. So, yeah, God be with the lawyer for targeted justice. And uh, I just had to drop this update. It's the Mac and I'm out.